I'm Jalene Kortenhorn, also known as the nanapreneuronline.com, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. So today we're going to bake macaroni and cheese in the oven. Who doesn't like macaroni and cheese? And it's not a real fancy dish, but today I'm going to add bacon and that leftover barbecued chicken you never, never know what to do with, especially when you only have one piece left. So in this recipe, we're going to chop up the barbecue bacon, chop up the bacon bits, make the macaroni and cheese, sprinkle a little Parmesan on top, and pop it in the oven, and we are going to be all set for a quick, easy meal even my three-year-old granddaughter is going to love. So, you ready? Let's get started. Hi, we're back. So now that you've made the macaroni and cheese according to the box, and you've cut up the chicken as much as you want, I usually just use one filet that, per two boxes of um, macaroni and cheese. I had about five or six pieces of bacon, which I used, um, I had bacon that I made in the oven, which I have a video on. I can put it in the bottom of this video link for you to check out. So I use that, but then I freeze it because I always have extra and I'm always cooking with it. So now that we've done that, I have the Parmesan cheese, and of course, I understand that macaroni and cheese is always cheesy, but I'm from Wisconsin, <laughs> so I'm going to add more cheese. So what we're going to do is get the macaroni and cheese that we made on the stove. I'm going to take the cut up chicken, throw it in here, mix it up. Okay. Now I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to put it in, mm, I'm going to start with um, 300 degrees due to the fact that the chicken's already cooked, the bacon's already cooked. So basically all you want to do is kind of brown the top and bake it together and then melt the extra cheese that you're going to put on. So you really don't have to cook anything to make sure that you can eat it. So then you put the bacon in, mix that up again too, okay, and what I also did is today I'm going to use a glass baking pan, which I did and I put olive oil in and then I coated around it, otherwise you could also use a really good non-stick pan so that when you have to clean you don't have to scrub your elbows off to do it. Okay, now all you do is add the macaroni and cheese and the chicken and bacon. Plop it on in there. Lay it out. Spread out. What I'm going to do is just a little bit chick or cheese in between. of this on top, just kind of sprinkle it. Now you can cover this with tin foil. I'm not going to. Um, it's entirely up to you. Some people say it cooks faster. You know, I'm not really worried about it being cooking faster. So I will not be putting anything on top of it. Okay. Now, last but not least, I'm going to add a little pepper on top. Now you can mix this in with the macaroni and cheese right from the beginning if you want. Stopping now. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to have some Parmesan cheese. And I, I'm going to put it on pretty heavy. So, and I don't really have a measurement, but I will have a measurement, I guess, I don't know, uh, half a cup, I would think. So, there you are. So we're going to have a baked macaroni cheese with bacon and chicken. So we're going to pop it in the oven, and I will see you in just a little bit, okay? Hi, and we're back. So I put it in for 350 degrees, and I put it in for 40 minutes, because what I wanted to do was have the Parmesan turn golden brown on the top. So now that we have that, let's cut it open. Or not open, but let's cut it here and take it on here. Ooh. All right. There we go. And here we are. We have the baked bacon chicken macaroni casserole. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did making it, and thank you for being here at Nana's Kitchen. Bye!